Mitch Mitchell of Chrysler talks about the all-new electric lineup perfect for many fleet applications. As a matter of fact, in terms of electric vehicles, our MV group, ENVI, which is our group that uh, specifically specializes in electric vehicle performance, electric vehicle manufacturing, uh, we actually have a, a product that uh, they're offering right now, an electric vehicle minivan, and we're doing a project with the federal government, the Department of Energy, and several other uh, energy utilities across the United States where we're, uh, we're launching 250 vehicles uh, 50 in five different states, uh, including with the post office, um, and we're launching this initiative. It's going to be launched in about six months, and what we're doing is we're putting 50 vehicles in post offices across the United States. I think California, North Carolina, New York, uh, I can't remember the other t two states offhand, but we're, we're planning 250 vehicles in post offices in those states because we think that that vehicle, the electric vehicle caravan that we're offering, is very, very useful for the type of vehicle that the post office uses in that, one, the post office, they have very, very short runs uh, when they do their postal routes, about 18 miles, you know, to a typical average postal route which is good for these vehicles because they get about 40 miles on a charge so the 18 miles really plays within that range secondly with the post office they don't need a lot of uh, great acceleration you know it's more stop go idling uh, type of performance type of capability that they're looking for which is exactly what an electric vehicle of this type uh, can do and then thirdly with the post office setting it offers an area where we can set up a charging station for their fleet, where their fleet can charge. And it takes about an eight-hour charge to reboot these vehicles, if you will. And seeing that you do a route and the vehicle sits for about 12 to 14 hours before it's used again, charging the vehicle for an eight-hour time frame before using it again presents no problem. So we're launching, well, the project's been launched already, but we'll have vehicles on the road in about the next six to nine months in those five states that I mentioned. Additionally to that, we also have GEM, or our Global Electric Motor Cars, which is already a land speed vehicle that we have, small vehicle that's, uh, that we have here at the GSA Fleet Show, and it's a vehicle that can go up to about 25 miles per hour and offers you a lot of utility uh, in that it can go outdoors as well as inside buildings. It also can be a cargo hauler as well as a passenger hauler. So it offers a lot of versatility as well. And that's already being offered to governmental fleets across the country right now.